With the announcement of Fury from the Deep being animated, it seems only fitting to travel back to 1967 to discover how the serial came to be. With a production filled with last minute rewrites, dangerous helicopter flying, and the creation of the ultimate plot device being the sonic screwdriver, this is the story of Fury from the Deep. In 1964, writer Victor Pemberton submitted a story titled The Slide to the Doctor Who production office. The story featured sentient mud that was taking over a town in England. The story editor at the time, David Whittaker, rejected the story, who didn't like the dialogue and didn't think it was quite right for Doctor Who. He also submitted the story to BBC Radio as a non-Doctor Who story. The story was commissioned by radio drama script editor Peter Bryant, who would be heavily involved with the production of Doctor Who, finally becoming the official producer from the Web of Fear onwards. But that wasn't the end of Victor's story with Doctor Who. He appeared as the character Jules in the Moon Base, and went on to become script editor from The Evil of the Daleks to The Ice Warriors. He decided to only stay in the role for three months due to preferring writing his own material over script editing. Victor suggested adapting the slide for Doctor Who to Peter Bryant. Bryant remembered the radio serial since he commissioned it and thought it would be a good fit. But instead of sentient mud, Victor thought it would be good to have the evil force being natural gas. It was a similar concept, a natural earth element being manipulated by new man-made technology. Seaweed would also play a key role, being the face for the invisible gas. He chose seaweed due to the dislike of its texture. An accompanied heartbeat was used as the sound of the creature, inspired by The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. The six-part serial was initially titled Doctor Who and the Colony of Devils, and was designated to be the fifth serial of season five. It was decided that the order of production would be flipped, therefore the Web of Fear would be made before Fury from the Deep. This was done due to the popularity of the Yeti and the amount of rewrites needed for Doctor Who and the Colony of Devils. Derek Sherwin was now the script editor and wasn't a massive fan of the script and neither was the serial's director Hugh David. Therefore, many changes were made. Jamie was to use his bagpipes to destroy the seaweed, but instead it was decided that Victoria's scream would do it instead. This is because Deborah Watling was famous for her impressive scream. Deborah Watling had also decided to leave at the end of the serial and a rewrite had to accommodate for this also. She had always intended on only being in the series for a year and wished to return to the theatre. The amount of changes to the script upset Pemberton, even getting to the point where he wanted his name removed from the project. Eventually, he contributed to the rewrites and even added the iconic TARDIS landing on the ocean scene. On Saturday the 4th of February, location filming for Fury from the Deep began at Botany Bay and the Red Sands Sea Fort. The TARDIS landing scene was filmed with a quarter-sized model of the TARDIS with piano wire hanging from a helicopter. Due to the terrible windy weather, it took many takes to get it right without the TARDIS falling over. It was so cold that Patrick Troughton's own headwear became part of his costume. Even through the bitter cold, they still managed to have some fun, and Patrick and Fraser threw Deborah into the foam as a prank, and they kept it in the final episode. Shots of the TARDIS team in the dinghy and the helicopter chase scene were filmed using a helicopter. The team used editing effects to give the impression that the helicopter was doing loop-de-loops. Fraser Hines and Deborah Watling went up in the helicopter for long shots, but were concerned about how close to the cliffs they were. Patrick refused altogether, and Mike Smith acted as his stunt double. The debate on who created the sonnet screwdriver is heavily debated. In the script, it mentions that the Doctor takes from his pocket something which looks like his own version of a screwdriver. During the production though, production assistant Michael Bryant suggested that they use something called a sonnet screwdriver that uses sound waves, and the prop was a simple pen torch. Rumours say that Patrick dropped the pen torch and they ended up using a whistle that was on the life jacket instead. Since the episode doesn't exist, this is only based on photos that survive and this mystery may remain unknown. Location filming continued on Monday the 5th and Tuesday the 6th. Some of the more memorable scenes such as the goodbye sequence with Victoria and Maggie walking into the sea were filmed. The production returned to Ealing Film Studios on Wednesday the 7th to Friday the 9th to film the effects shots. 
The foam generator, which represented the seaweed monster, was the focus of the effects sequences. An alternative take of one of the sequences still exists in its original film format. We know that it's an alternative take, for it doesn't match up with the original soundtrack that was recorded by fans. The next week, on Monday the 12th, they filmed the helicopter close-ups with the regular TARDIS team. Although the blades of the helicopter were moving, they were filmed on the ground. It was around now that the name The Colony of Devils was retitled to Fury from the Deep, due to concerns of using the word devils in a family television show. Yet, only four years later, they would use the word in the title The Sea Devils. The writer was unhappy with this new title. If the production didn't seem hectic enough, the serial was being rewritten during the first week of rehearsals, and each episode was made only three weeks before broadcast. The worst offence of rewriting was episode 2, which was changed the day before recording. During the rehearsals for episode 3, the effect sequences for episode 6 were recorded. An 8mm film recording exists of this shot filmed by a crew member. On Tuesday the 19th, after the recording of episode 4 on the previous Saturday, Wendy Padbury made her debut as Zoe alongside Fraser Hines for the next serial, The Wheel in Space. Episode 6 was recorded on Monday the 25th on Troughton's 48th birthday. The serial reached its peak at 8.2 million viewers in episode 1, and its lowest for episode 5 at 5.9 million. The story was sold to Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, and Gibraltar. Australia and New Zealand junked their copies, Singapore's fate's unknown, and Gibraltar's copy was most likely returned to the BBC, who possibly wiped it. So, are you a fan of Fury from the Deep? Or are you waiting for the animation to experience it for the first time? Don't forget to subscribe to the official Josh Nair's YouTube channel.